Hi there and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at an update to a previous tutorial which was how to create neon effect, in, a glowing neon effect in Photop, which the result of that is what you can see on the screen now. So if you haven't checked that original tutorial out, I'll put a link in the description and also there should be a pop-up card on the screen somewhere now where you can click on it. Go watch through that if you haven't already and follow through the process and your ending point of that should be very similar to the starting point of this tutorial. Now. This came about because I had a comment on the original video from a viewer asking how do they make a rainbow effect of this. And I just thought that was a really interesting question because it's not, it's easy to do when you know how, but if you don't know the exact technique, it's actually quite difficult to work out, but the effects are fantastic. So I'm just going to go through here and show you. So if we look at the layers here on the right hand side, you see we've got a folder called Glow, a text file inside and then the other two are just background elements so hopefully this should be similar to what you had from following the original tutorial now if you notice at the edge of the glow layer there's a EFF and an arrow and if we click on that little arrow to make the effects visible you'll see we've got some layer style effects that make up our glow and these at the moment are applied to the folder the group folder now on the original tutorial, I did this just out of habit, because then if you add anything else to that folder, it will automatically have that glowing effect applied to it. But for this tutorial now, this rainbow effect, we actually don't want that. We want to drag the effects. You can just click and drag with your left button and drag it down with, so your cursor's over glowing text, which is just the text layer itself. And you'll see the little black bar go underneath, let go. And now it's transferred those layer style effects from the folder onto the text itself. Now, visually, this hasn't changed because it's basically doing exactly the same thing, but we need to do this step in order for the next process to work. So the rainbow effect is quite simple from now. We just need to go down to the adjustment layers palette and go to gradient fill. Now we need to drag this outside above and outside of the actual glow folder. And if we go in here next to the word gradient, there's a little arrow, which is some presets that Photop um, kindly give to us. And there's actually what we want is already available here in the bottom left hand side. We've got one called Spectrum, which if I click on it, as you can see, it's just like a rainbow of colors. Now we can come back to this in a moment and tweak some of these settings. But for now, I'm just going to click off that. And we've got this effect now, but we only want it to impact anything that's within that group and not the background. So this is simple. As long as it's right above the group, all you need to do is hold down the option key if you're on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and click on the gradient fill icon here, the rainbow icon. And you'll see it does this. It changes a little arrow to the left side of the icon. And what this is doing now is it's clipping it to the folder. So in essence, that rainbow gradient fill layer is only affecting all the pixels within that folder, that group. Now, if we'd have not moved the effects down onto the text layer itself, it wouldn't have worked. And I'll show you why. If I just put the effects back onto the folder, you'll see what happens. If we'd have left it as it was, the rainbow gradient is now affecting just the text itself, but the glow effects are actually unaffected, which obviously is not what we want. And so it's an easy remedy to just drag that from the folder directly onto the text layer that's within the folder. And there we get that. So that's looking pretty good, but we've lost the white element of the text, so it's not got as much impact. This is very simple to remedy. We just changed the blending mode of the rainbow layer to color. And now it will bring back the sort of the hot white look of the middle of the neon glow effect, but we'll have the benefit of that spectrum of color. And from this point, we can really go in and tweak this to make it our own. So if we go back, double click onto the gradient rainbow icon, we'll bring back up the properties. Now we can play with all of these attributes here to really hone in the, the colors and the look that we want. So if we click on the actual gradient itself, you can see here the various colors that make this up and we can click on individual squares we can change these to whatever colors we like but i personally think that the choice that they've made is, is a really good for like a rainbow and you can also change the style which is you can have like radial effects which look pretty cool angled effects where they all come out from the middle etc but i'm just going to keep it on linear 
scale, you can make this larger or smaller to bring in or push out different colors in the gradient. And I like that because it's bringing in some red. And the offset X and Y is just moving the gradient along either horizontally or vertically, which on this subject has basically the same effect. We can just play around. It's just experiment and play around until you get something you like. But I really like that balance now where you've got the red coming in at the sides. And that is it. So that's how to take the glowing neon effect from the previous video and turn it into a glowing neon rainbow effect in just a few minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click a like if you did, because it really helps out. And of course, subscribe if you want to be the first to see more videos in the future. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you in the next one.